Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash ask reddit where user rzx0 asked, you now have 10,000 of whatever object is to your left. What do you do with your newfound wares? I think I'm going to prison with this many passports. I'll stop the next hurricane with all my fans. Spoons. 10,000 spoons. I have no clue. 10,000 Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons. Hell yeah! I'll never have to worry about Joy-Con drift again. 10,000 German Shepherds. Lord help me. Gonna make the greatest blanket fort the world has ever seen. I would have 10,000 blankets. I would then make a mega pillow fort with all you can dream of. Whoa, 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 wait. Just make sure you know what it is you're building. Is it a pillow fort or a blanket fort? You don't want this to happen. Stand back. Watch it, Starburns. My name is Alex. A softly lobbed hypoallergenic Sealy Select in a floral print case collides with a load-bearing broomstick, collapsing a queen-size section of blanket fort. Saw that they knocked it down! Screw you! Now I have 10,000 assignments for the night. I don't want 10,000 clones of my sister. 10,000 propane tanks. I'm now Hank Hill. My dad says butane's a bastard gas. I have 10,000 cats. That's. Ugh. That's a lot of cats. 10,000 couches. I start a furniture business specialising in one type of couch. Invade Canada with my army of seven-year-old boys. I am the toilet paper king! 10,000 kidneys. Hmm? R slash. Hold up! Damn, I gotta go TP 10,000 houses. BRB. 10,000 girlfriends. Guess it's time to open a strip club, boys. Ew, no. There's a lot of half written on paper. I think I'll just recycle it. Or make a paper air force or something. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with 10,000 Pikachu plushies. But honestly, I'm not upset at all. Anyone want a bag of jalapeno popper ripple potato chips? 10,000 burnt out matches. Great. Just what I wanted. I'll distribute my 10,000 lamps for free, shutting down all the major lamp factories. Now that I have a monopoly over the industry, I will start my own lamp factory, sell them for double the price of a normal lamp, and begin my reign of lamp terror. <laughs> if you need me, I'll be eating those 10,000 edibles for the next few years. 10,000 cans of Coca-Cola. I didn't sign up for this. Put alarm clocks in hidden places in people's homes. 10,000 tampons. Guess I'll be set for a year or two. What are you doing with those tampons, girl? I did the math. You're good for at least the next 51 years. 10,000 pride flags. Who wants one? You get a pride flag and you get a pride flag. Everyone gets a pride flag. Uh, lube. 10,000 bottles of lube. 10,000 bottles of lube on the wall. 10,000 bottles of lube. Take one down, fuck around, 9,999 bottles of lube on the wall. What is the thing to your left and are you getting rich from it? Let me know in the comments. This next post is from Kyle Dishcambino who asked Reddit, Free candy is often joked about being written on the side of sketchy white vans to lure children in. As an adult, what phrase would have to be written on there for you to hop on in? Free debt relief. Details inside. If they kill you, were they really lying? Mystery machine. Jinkies. Run of a rich. Free therapy or nap here very safely. Oh no no, it's not therapists, it's the rapist. Why wouldn't rescuing candy be enough motivation for anyone? Starting pay $40 an hour and no experience required. Sounds like an MLM pitch. Come on boss babes, build your own empire. No one said free beer yet. Free money. Free coffee. The good stuff. I'd fall for that. Add some hot donuts and I'm as good as kidnapped. Puppies inside! Free naps. Uninterrupted by children who can't use indoor voices or husbands who can't find things that are in plain sight. Well, maybe if you didn't put my tools away while I was using them. Oh wait, never mind, it was behind my coffee cup. Free. Free medical care. Hmm, I think a lot of people would get in the van for that. Yo, buddy, yeah, you, come here. 
Your government sent me to pick you up. My... my government? Yeah, they said you had high blood pressure that hadn't been checked in a while. Uh, my government told me not to talk to third party providers. Well, look, I lost my universal health care and I need help finding it. When we find it, you can play with it some. Well, okay, mister. As long as you promise me the government sent you. You wake up confused the next day with an appendectomy scar and a Canadian passport in the breast pocket of your plaid flannel shirt. Free Wi-Fi. Free anything. Come on in, you poor bitch. Free time machine. Free sandwiches. I stopped and got out of my car to check out a giant bus that said the cannabis on it one time, so I guess the cannabis? New identity. Hmm, I can imagine a lot of people taking that one up. Meet a girl that is not too picky here. Rent money. I've been idling here for seven hours. You guys going to fucking get in or what? What gets you in the van? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.